Hi, I'm Sine Simpson from WJLA-TV, ABC7 in Washington, D.C., and I'm a longtime supporter of the U.S. Dream Academy. We're at the first site for the Academy at Farabee Hope Elementary School in Southeast D.C. Now, this is an important year. It marks the 15th anniversary of the U.S. Dream Academy, and to celebrate this monumental year, the Academy has taken the time to reflect on its roots and also to look forward to the future. The U.S. Dream Academy's mission is embedded in its name. It's proven that a child with a dream is a child with a future. I've got another, got another question for you. This one's a bit more sensitive, personal. How many of you here have a parent who is either currently in prison, in jail, or has been in prison in the past? Hands up. If you have one. So that's... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Since 1998, the U.S. Dream Academy has touched the lives of more than 7,000 young people, especially children of incarcerated parents. The inspiration behind the organization came to its founder, Wentley Phipps, on an encounter he had as he rode a train back to his home in Washington, D.C. I was uh, on a train to Philadelphia and I had an opportunity to meet Chuck Colson of Watergate fame, who went to prison and came out and started what has become the largest prison ministry in the world. And he began taking me into the prisons with him to sing. I had an experience where I actually saw one of my wife's nieces pregnant in prison. All of my wife's seven brothers and sisters have either been in jail or incarcerated at some point in their lives. I realized that many of the children whose parents are incarcerated were going to become incarcerated themselves, and I had to do something about it. I wanted to use my voice in a different way to help break that cycle in the lives of children who are at risk. Now, the need for this kind of mentoring was staggering. Children whose parents were incarcerated were falling behind in school, they were having behavior problems inside and outside the classroom. And this was especially evident in the nation's capital where the Academy's first center was opened. It didn't take long for the Academy to receive recognition for its innovative after school and mentoring program. The 11 to 15 hours a week that students spent in the program kept them safe and off the streets. Teachers, parents, and even the President of the United States praised the students' improvements. It is not just a feel-good program. It works. In the last year, math and reading scores are up sharp. Suspensions are down. Class attendance is up. Which shows that more and more of these young people understand the importance of going to school, staying in school, and doing well in school. This works. President Clinton's endorsement of the Academy continued beyond his years in the Oval Office. In 2007, President Clinton released a book entitled Giving, How Each of Us Can Change the World. And in that book, the President highlighted the work of the Academy and how it continues to change lives. He wrote, quote, Whitley Phipps, one of America's best-known gospel singers, founded the U.S. Dream Academy to help the children of inmates avoid becoming collateral damage. Whitley wants these children to find their own voice and their own path in life. Even today, President Clinton continues to give his support to the Academy. I want to congratulate the U.S. Dream Academy for 15 years of incredible service, improving the lives of thousands of children around our country. Thank you, my longtime friend, Wentley Phipps, for using your magnificent voice to elevate the needs of children of incarcerated parents and to create a national platform bringing change in policy, funding, and support for these children. Thirteen years ago, when I spoke at the first Dream Academy Learning Center in Southeast Washington, D.C., I said that this is not just a feel-good program. It works, and it still works today. Dream Academy students attend school at a higher rate than their peers. They're more engaged in school. They develop positive character traits, and 80% of their students have future aspirations to complete college. I know you have more work to do. While more than 8,000 lives have been touched through your work, there are many more children living in high-risk neighborhoods who still need the support to live the dream 
that they have for their own lives. So I thank all of you so much for supporting the Dream Academy's important work. I wish you all the best as you continue to build a better future, not just for these children, but for our country as well. Thank you. Well, the Dream Academy has received copious support throughout the years from politicians, business leaders, and entertainers. The support of one particular group rings higher than the rest. Yes, even higher than the President of the United States. Who better to tell of the effectiveness and the life-changing opportunities provided by the Academy than the kids who've experienced the program themselves and who are now on their way to achieving their dreams. You and Jimmy Cat and like, they gave me something to look forward to every single day. At the school, we would always be involved in some type of activity, whether it was like a play or whether it was like a sport. And also, um, just having like this family-oriented atmosphere, like being able to just go to someone and talk to them and, not, and know that your trust is within inside of that person. You know that they won't hurt or do no wrong to you. It's just a great feeling. So I look forward to the Azure Academy every single day. Darrell's transformation with his character and his academics gained the recognition of not only those who interacted with him daily, but also the leader of the free world. In 2004, Darrell was 10 years old, and President Bush met with him to hear how mentoring had influenced his life. While talking to the president, Darrell shared his goals to become a lawyer, and President Bush was inspired after speaking with him and had this to say. Quote, see, here's a fellow who all of a sudden has got a goal. He's been inspired by something government really can't provide, which is a loving person to interface with him in a way that helps to change his life. Now, the grant came out of the federal government to help fund this mentoring program, and it's money well spent. Another fundamental pillar for the U.S. Dream Academy is dream building. Now, this helps students to broaden their understanding of what their options and their opportunities are while eliminating the possibility of incarceration from their mindset. Cheryl from Philadelphia had the opportunity to have her dream come true when she had a chance to meet Oprah Winfrey in 2005. Cheryl was just nine years old. Meeting Oprah, that was a big wow. That was just, just seeing her, just knowing I was gonna meet her in person just made me, it just struck me. I just had to be like her or be more in my life. Like I had to go further, like I had to do what I had to do in the Dream Academy to become, become someone like her. I just felt as though she was a great role model at that time and she still is to this day because she's still doing her thing. She's independent. She does what she has to do. And when I look at her, I feel like she's someone I would want to be like in the future. Oprah's support for the U.S. Dream Academy goes beyond meeting and encouraging the students. In 2005, she made an extraordinary presentation to illustrate how much she believes in the Academy. And the reason I am here tonight is because I believe that we as an extended family of Americans, together, because we are aware, because we do have, and because we can do, can come together, dig a little deeper, work a little harder, and change what is happening to American children in this country. It is a crime. It is a crime. It is a crime that now, when Wentley shared with me last week, that an African-American child had a better chance in slavery to grow up with a mother and father in the home than they do today. That is a crime. That is a crime. So I want everybody in here, I don't care how you got here, who you paid, who you did, I want you to double whatever it is you decided to give, because you can do that. The third pillar, is skill building. Academic failure has been shown to be the most important predictor of future incarceration. The Dream Academy provides daily assistance with homework and online learning with reading and math. Stefan Little from Philadelphia, who recently graduated from high school, shares how Dream Academy tutoring placed him on a path toward college. Uh, Dream Academy definitely helped me to lock down my, my schoolwork, you know, if I, if I had any other problems with my, my homework or anything I was going through in school, I was able to come here and get help with it, you know. But um, one of the, the biggest things that helped me here was probably doing Success Maker on the computer. It helped us to grow academically as a whole, all of the, all of the students that was in Dream Academy back when I was here. And once you become a student at the U.S. Dream Academy, you're always family. You belong to an organization that wants you to succeed during the program and beyond. 
Ayana was a student in the Baltimore Dream Academy, and she kept in touch with the Academy throughout her years in high school. And when it was time for her to go to college, she knew that she was prepared academically, but she needed help financially. So she reached out to the Dream Academy family to help her fulfill that dream of attending college. I can honestly say, without Dream Academy, I probably wouldn't be where I am today. I didn't have anybody in my immediate family to go to college. The only person in my family to go to college was my aunt. Yes, you know, she was my role model, but at the same time, if you don't have that person every day, you know, that Monday to Monday to Friday, you know, telling you, yeah, do your work, go to school, you know, you can do this, or if you actually, if you don't have them around you every day, you don't really know, you know, where to go. And also, uh, like I said, you know, with college, it's been time, you know, I, I didn't know what to do, I didn't know where to go. Mentors that I found throughout the program, I'm still in contact with them, they've helped me. Even now, to this day, they're telling me, you know, you can't stay here, it's a step after this. You're pretty much like, you're in the middle of a, of a ladder. You can either go up or you can go down, and it's no going down from here, like you have to keep going. So without Dream Academy, I wouldn't have gotten as far financially, as far as school. Like mentally, I wouldn't have been prepared. Like, and emotionally, they've been there for me. As far as you know, the things at home, they've always been there. So the Dream Academy, it it gives you a lot of stability and base to grow. So without them, I would be graduating. <laughs> Fifteen years now after its inception, the U.S. Dream Academy's mission is just as vital as the day the Academy made its home at the Farabee Hope Center here in Washington, D.C. Thousands of lives have changed for the better, and it's not just the lives of students that have been impacted. Teachers and parents, relatives and supporters are also filled with gratitude for the incredible services that the U.S. Dream Academy provides. This program works. Dreams are being conceptualized and fulfilled in the lives of children every day. So thank you, U.S. Dream Academy, for 15 extraordinary years of service, and thank you for giving children the chance to realize their dreams.